So what am I going to report on today? Skyline Attractions has revealed their brand new Skywarp Orbit model. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadow Ball, but built for theme park news. Now before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Make sure you go check out our news updates over the past few days. Uh, they've been fantastic. Uh, news updates from Thorpe Park, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, uh, Sark and the Emmy, they've been brilliant news updates. Uh, we've got some news updates to come from Chessington World of Adventures as well. Uh, Universal Orlando, Halloween Horror Nights details, that was a good one as well. Uh, so plenty of news updates to wet your whistle. Uh, but this is a theme park news update from Skyline Attractions. And this is on their brand new Skywarp model. Now this all started with the original Skywarp. Um, and then you've also got the Skywarp Horizon. And then you've also got the Skywarp Eclipse. That model hasn't been released at a park yet. The original Skywarp was Harley Quinn Crazy Coaster at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. Rumours going around that Six Flags decided to... Um, sort of end their agreement with Skywarp, Skylight Attractions uh, because of the problems and the delays that Harley Quinn Crazy Coaster at Discovery Kingdom was having. Uh, the Skywarp Horizon, despite its noise level, uh, that was a good success at San Diego in SeaWorld uh, with their Coaster Tidal Twister. Obviously, like I said, the Eclipse model hasn't been revealed to the public in terms of parks yet. But a new model has come out, and I'm sure this will be on display at IAPA this week. Uh, and that is the Skywarp Orbit. Now you can go check out a video on the YouTube channel for Skyline Attractions. I'll put a link to it in the description down below. I'm going to share some pictures of the ride on your screen now. Find out Bidorsi. Let's get into some stats uh, about this ride. So basically, this model is um, a top part connected to a cutback. Uh, so 30 foot tall. 297 foot long, 71 times 51 footprint, 28 passengers per cycle, which is 14 per station. Um, and in my personal opinion, I think it looks better than the Horizon model, personally. Obviously, the Horizon model's like uh, two zero G rolls, kind of cut together in a figure of eight circuit. Uh, but I think the Orbit one looks really cool. I think the Orbit one would be great. Um, I think the Orbit could be a very good fit for a part like a SeaWorld San Diego or um, obviously not SeaWorld San Diego because they've got a, a Skywarp in itself but like a part like that where just the right amount of crowd level and a good thrill market uh, so a part like that around the world UK, Europe, States, anywhere would be a good fit for this ride um, so as you saw by those concept images they look really cool um, so I do believe that uh, this will be a very cool ride. Uh, and like I said, I think it personally looks better than the Horizon model personally. Definitely better than the original Skywarp. I think with Skyline Attractions, they've definitely improved the models um, sort of as time progresses. Uh, so the, the Horizon was better than the Skywarp original. The Eclipse, in my personal opinion, is better than the Horizon. Uh, and then this one, is it? it's better than the Horizon. Is it better than the Eclipse? I don't know, that's my question of the day. Comment down below, what do you think? Is the Skywarp Eclipse better than the Skywarp Orbit? Or the other way around? Comment down below uh, your your sort of thoughts about that. Uh, about my question of the day. Um, but overall, I think this is a good model. I think that Skyline Attractions have put a lot of work into this. Uh, and it looks like a very cool coaster. Uh, so... I'm personally very excited about this one. I think that uh, Skylar Attractions have done a fantastic job. The colour scheme on the concept art um, looks very cool. I think that whole sort of uh, yellow look about it. Obviously, colour schemes can change for parts, but I think that overall, I think it's a pretty cool um, colour scheme as it is. I think they'd be pretty cool. Um, kind of reminds me... And this has been the thing, I know, I think RMC, do, uh, RMC does like the, the single rail track for Skywalk, Skyline Attractions rides, uh, for the Skywalk rides, but it does give me single rail coaster vibes with that rail track. It was the same with the original Skywalk model. And like I said, I think that is definitely because RMC does the track for the Skywalks. Um, 
definitely. If they don't, then I'd be surprised because it looks very much like a single rail track. But I do believe they do. Uh, so overall, I think Skyline Attraction should be very proud of themselves for this model. Hopefully this model becomes a very good success like the other models have been over this uh, past few years. Uh, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we get one of these in the UK. So us UK enthusiasts that can't travel to the States yet can really indulge ourselves in a sky warp. Uh, I know a lot of people have mixed reviews on these rides, but, you know, we have to experience it for ourselves. It'd be nice to see one of them in the UK just to give us that vibe. And also be a very unique investment for a park in the UK. Uh, and, and Europe as well. I think Europe would do really well with one of these as well. So I might be wrong about that. People will comment down below and say that the ride's rough or it's just not fun. Uh, I, I just think... I'd like to see in the UK and Europe because it's intriguing. I'm not going to go on the basis of if it's rough or smooth or fun or boring. It's just unique. I think it'd be unique for the country and for Europe as well. Um, and it'd be intriguing for us European enthusiasts to experience one of these that you guys experience in the States. So, Again, it's just one of those things that you find very intriguing. So I can't wait to see if one comes to the UK or Europe. Comment down below actually, what parks do you think of Skyline Attraction Skywarp? Any of the models would fit in the UK and Europe. Comment down below what parts you think would get it. Realistically, if you look at the price of it as well, uh, you look at the footprint of these models, what part do you think could have one? I think Lightwater like, Valley could do one with one. Um, I think that'd be cool on the skate cart site. Comment down below what you think. But, uh, but me personally, I think I'd like to see one at Lightwater like, Valley on that skate cart site. But thank you very much for watching this news update. Like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. My name is Coast Chow. Kill the coast of life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.